Production support for this episode of Gadget was provided by the University Catholic Center, the Jesuit of California Province, and Gateway, the beauty and the power of one. On this episode of Gadget, Matrox Multiple Monitor Madness, Part 2. And welcome back to Gadget at thetextop.net. It's the place where it's always time to get your geek on. I'm your host, Father Robert Balasser of the Society of Jesus. I'm a member of the California province of the Jesuits. We're the largest religious order in the Catholic Church. And we're here in the Center for Apostolic Technology at the University Catholic Center, located on the campus of the University of Hawaii. It's been a while since our last release. We, it's actually been pretty busy. We've had a couple of retreats, plenty of confessions, a lot of Lenten obligations, but mostly we've had to take advantage of the strange weather that we've been having in Hawaii. And by strange, I mean that the sun's been out, it's been beautiful, it's been nice, but it hasn't been hot, it hasn't been humid. And when the weather's like that, you just have to get out there and enjoy. But that doesn't mean that we've stopped thinking about technology. In fact, just this morning we received our care package from our friends over at Matrux, who sent us their new dual and triple head-to-go digital editions. Now, if you've been a fan of the show for a while, you know that we reviewed the analog versions of these products a while back, probably about 20 episodes ago, and we really liked the boxes. You see, the idea behind the dual and the triple head-to-go was that it gave you the ability to add multiple monitors to your computer with a minimal amount of reconfiguration. You see, even with a USB adapter like the display link that we took a look at a few episodes ago, you still have to set which ones you're monitoring or where it's going to be. You're going to have to make sure that the resolutions are the ones that you want and they're placed properly. Not so with the dual and triple head to go. Because with these boxes, all of the monitors look like a single monitor to your computer. It would allow you to use, say, your, your notebook or your desktop computer in the configuration that it currently was and still get that wide desktop, or it allowed you to use, say, an SLI rig to get the true performance. Anyone who has used an SLI rig, that's a scanline interleave rig, uh, where you have multiple uh, multiple video adapters to, to add to your frame rate and your quality level while you're gaming, knows that if you try to hook up multiple monitors, say three monitors to your desktop, so that you'd actually have to cascade over to the second video card, you can't really use the SLI or the crossfire ability. It, it, it will actually mess you up. So you'd have to drop down your frame rate, you'd have to drop down the resolution, and your gaming rig suddenly isn't so uber. Well, with the dual or triple head to go, you could actually still use it in SLI mode because to your computer, it looks like there's only one monitor. There's only one cable going out to either the dual or the triple head to go. So for what they did, they were awesome. That isn't to say that they weren't drawbacks. The number one comment that we got about that episode was that even though our viewers thought they were cool, they were a little disappointed that they were analog. They figured, I have a digital system. I have digital monitors. I paid to have the quality of digital. Why would I want to go from digital to analog back into a digital converter back into analog uh, for the monitors? Well, Matrox has heard your complaint. They've heard your cry and they've responded with the dual and triple head to go digital edition. Now, of course, these are digital, but that's not the only thing that they've changed. They've actually increased the number of features and the number of options that you get. With the new dual head to go, as you can see, you've got the digital outputs, you've got a single analog input. And the reason why it's analog is because this is the model that they think that people would use if they were, say, using it with just their laptop. They wanted to give them that flexibility, that ability to plug into uh, one of your older laptops or even a newer laptop that doesn't have a DVI connector. When I spoke to one of the Matrox engineers, he said that they didn't really see that much uh, gain from going to a digital input adapter, so they kept it analog. But this thing can be powered entirely off of USB. The only LED it has is the one to indicate power, and it's very simple to use. You simply plug in your computer to the input, and then you plug in your monitors to the output. They've included all the cables you might need to uh, to be able to do that. And uh, the old dual head to go could go 2560 by 1024. That means that you could run 1280 by 1024 by two monitors. The new version can actually go to 3840 by 1200. 
That means you can have two 1920 by 1200 monitors. To put that into perspective, a, uh, a, 1020, a 1280 by 1024 monitor might be your 19 inch LCD. Our 24 inch LCDs, the ones that we use on our production stations, are 1900 by 1200. So I could run two 24 inch LCDs off of the single box. And to my computer, it looks just like it's one massive 3840 by 1200 desktop. In setup, it was simple. I mean, really, we just plugged the thing in. The computer automatically recognized it. It, it thought it was a single monitor. This box did all the, the number crunching. It actually looked at the VESA codes coming back in from the monitors to determine what their maximum resolution was. And then it presented that maximum resolution to my computer. Very slick system, very easy to use. And the performance, well, fantastic. It gave us exactly what we were expecting, which is no performance hit whatsoever. If we were running SLI, it would keep it in SLI. If we were running single card, it would keep it single card. The important thing to remember here is that this could be used by professionals or total noobs. Now, the triple had to go. As you might expect, it adds one more monitor. So you go from just two extra monitors, I mean from two uh, multiple monitors to three. And again, of course, it's got digital outputs, but on the input side, it's a little bit different. If you flip this thing over, you see that it actually has two different inputs, one for analog and one for digital. What they've done is they've sort of said, look, if we're going to be making a box that can do triple head, why don't we also give it the ability to do double head? If you give it a, a lower resolution, it will actually use only the first two uh, outputs so that you could use this as your dual head or your triple head to go. You could use it with your laptop or with your desktop or with your professional desktop or with your gaming desktop. No matter what you might want to do, this will let you do it. Now, it's got several different modes. If you run it in triple head to go, it will run at 3840 by 1024. Uh, that's 1280 by 1024 times 3. If you run it in dual head, it will run in that 1920 by 1200 uh, resolution times 2. The cool thing about this is if you want to stay digital all the way, this one will actually allow you to do that. So again, that would be another reason to go with the triple head to go rather than the dual head to go. In use, this was simple to set up, and just as simple as the dual had to go. Again, Matrox has included all the cables that you might need to, to be able to hook this up. You simply go from the client computer into one of the inputs, you hook up power to the USB, make sure that the power light is showing up, and then you hook up your three external monitors, no matter what they may be. All of the number crunching is done inside the box. This will determine what kind of monitors it's connected to, and it will report the maximum resolution to your computer. Once that's done, just like with the dual head to go, nothing else has to be done. This will automatically do everything you need to be able to split your desktop across multiple monitors. Now, who would want these? Quite simply, anyone who has multiple monitors. If you are a professional on the go, if you want to be able to present multiple screens, if you want to be able to have that ability to spread your desktop, your presentation over multiple monitors, multiple projectors, whatever it might be, then both the dual and the triple head to go are excellent options. If you're a gamer, if you want to get the, ma the maximum screen size out of your game and yet you don't want to lose your SLI, again, the dual head or triple head to go is perfect for you. If you're a professional who's running CAD, CAM, or video, or photo editing, and you want that big desktop, these will do it just fine. Now, the cool thing is that Matrox also includes software, which allows you to customize your desktop experience. So if you like having that separation between the screens so that windows will maximize just so that screen, you can do that. Or, or if you want to spread it across two or three, or whatever you might want to do, their software is actually quite mature and is really good about giving you the settings that you want. Price. Not too bad, really. Well, the original dual and triple head to go ran for about uh, $160 for the dual head to go, about $280 for the triple head to go. In the digital edition, the dual head to go is $40 more at $200, whereas the triple head to go is $20 more than its analog counterpart at $300. So at these price points, there's really no reason to go with anything but the triple head to go. It gives you that dual or triple head capability. It gives you that flexibility. And it, it's actually the same size as a dual head to go. And it can be powered via USB. If you're looking for a multiple monitor solution, 
If you want something simple, if you want something portable, if you want something that's going to give you the performance that you demand out of your workstation, then might I suggest you take a look at the Matrox Dual or Triple Head to Go. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode of Gadget. If you want to find out more about the Matrox Dual and Triple Head to Go products, you can go to our website at www.thetechstop.net. If you click on the Gadget tab, you can also find a list of all of our episodes, and you can download the high-resolution versions. If you'd like to send us an email, you can write us at gadget at thetechstop.net. Well, I've been your host, Father Robert Balliser. This has been the Center for Apostolic Technology. And remember, there's no Uber Geek without you. <laughs>